Oh. Hi guys, welcome again to another episode of Wow, this just happened here. Uh, to for now, I'm in my zone. the nix nix on the beat today i'm gonna be taking you guys through the enchanted mind that i got full of creativity and a lot of weirdness and from that weirdness we're coming out with a black smoky eyeshadow the reason why i don't do smoky eyes is because i never knew how to do it it was the hardest eyeshadow to do every time i did it it looked like i was punched in the eye and i was forced to be a panda and i didn't want to be a panda so i decided to practice over and over again till i perfected it there were so many times that i did it i just looked weird and i didn't like it and i would cancel my event and i would just burn my eyes okay that's not true but maybe it is this video was sponsored by zafu zafu contacted me i was like oh are they nicks nicks on zebit why don't you actually choose you know a couple of products for 250 dollars and i was just like yes honey if you like to see what i chose then honeys keep on watching hi guys how are you how are me uh, how are us let's get right into the high tutorial for my transition shade i'm going into my juvia's masquerade mini palette and i'm choosing this shade called fulani i'm using this fluffy brush from the zafu eye set I'm entering that same masquerade mini palette and I'm taking the shade Ada right here. I Me and Ada have been through a lot. Can you see what it's back on? Now that I've done the transitioning, I'm using the fluffier brush. I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Blackest Black Eyeliner. I'll be taking a flat brush. Starting from the middle is easier. I'm using this stubby fluffy brush to blend out the edges of the black to blend it out you just need to pull pull the product and the edges out so if you pull it out it makes it softer first and then you can now proceed to blending the black we don't want to see no harsh edges we just want to make sure that everything is blended out really really well voila it's not perfect yes like nobody's perfect i gotta walk here again and again till i get real right anyway we're going through the saran blazer and we're gonna take this shade called chad so basically we're going to just tap this black eyeshadow is not only going to set the eyeliner that we had put before it's also going to intensify how black the eye is And then for this black you just want to tap tap it and drag it down at the edges don't go outside drag it down the reason why you're dragging it down is that you're controlling how far the black is because if you drag it out mm -mm, can it work the Zaron cosmetics eyeshadow and blush duo palette and we're going to choose my favorite shade which is this pink blush to clean the edges of the black I'm going in with this longer fluffy brush and I'll be using this to blend the cut the crease area of my eye. And then to finalize everything, the brush that I used to apply the pink will be going back in to clean the surface area of the black. And that's it. That's the classic smoky eye, just pop lashes and go, but your girl, it's not classic. I'm going in with my NYX glitters in Gone Metal, that's the shade. I'm using the dual lash glue in dark tone to apply the glitters. I'm also going in with this um, eyeshadow brush, so I really, really, really love this for glitters. Okay, so what I like about this brush is that I can easily move the glitter around with the brush. So it just makes life easier for me. This is the final eye 
look i really love this oh my gosh i've been sleeping on smoky high oh I, i'm just i'm just feeling myself man like ooh. okay so let me teach you how to feel yourself too the first thing you need is a black kajal that is just the base going into my saharan juvia's palette and i'll be choosing chad again to smoke out the black I'll be using the thinner fluffy brush and I'll be focusing that at the end of the black eyeliner that I just applied. So I usually drag it out so that the whole eye is smoking, not just the bottom. I'm going in with the shorter fluffy stubby brush. I'll be using that to take the pink blush from my Zaron palette and I'll be lightly focusing that at the bottom of my eyes. So now that we're done with that, it's time for me to blend out the bottom of the eye. I'll be using the same brush that I used to set my under eyes to blend out any excess or falling shadow as a result of the blendation of the blackation. Okay, so I'll finish up my makeup and I will be right back. So all the brushes used in this video were sent to me by Zafu. I'm really, really appreciative of that because honestly, I'm just tired of using the same brushes over and over and over again. It's time for us to get into the other things that Zafu sent your girl. This machine, I've watched a couple of videos of this um, poor clear, clearing machine. I got the black purifying peel off mask. I got this um, blue bag. It's so cute. It's supposed to be a leather bag, but it just feels like full leather. When I saw this bag, I chose it because I didn't. I I thought it was just a generic bag. It didn't have any brand name or anything. But then I now got it. I was not seeing Huawei, Zhangwei, Hanzu. Zawi on the Z, but definitely I'm gonna see carry the bag. I don't care if Huazi or Zawi is on the bag. This beautiful bandage dress that I'm wearing, it gives me figure eight that I absolutely love. I'm not really like a figure eight, eight, eight cook bottle kind of body. Okay, so this is the bottom of the dress. I really like how it just adds that lady finish to it, the fish tail. It just makes the dress just classy and pretty okay so next is this boob tube jumpsuit it's really really nice it comes with this nice belt that you can use to force yourself to have figure eight or release as soon as you finish eating jollof rice and you just can't take it anymore and your stomach is just out there for the world to see the only thing that i'm not a big fan of is that you can see where the inner shot stops and then my black skin is just popping but it's not bad i wish this was black instead of white it would have made so much sense except you know it's not a black girl that is wearing it then it will be awkward too so you guys have seen those nice talk that everybody has on instagram looking bomb af and they always just look slid in the top and it just looks so cute so nice so beautiful i too wanted to feel among to the clan of beautiful girls who can wear this top and slay but things were actually chosen to be different for me let me show you guys what i'm spoken about so um i got the top i wore the top the top top many many times he ripped he destroyed even the elastic there just gave up and just ripped into two and even that peeling off the shirt itself all the thread decided to just die they all committed suicide as i was trying to wear the shirt and i can't do this anymore apart from the fact that i look like a stuffed sausage the shirt is now red on top can you guys imagine how i look right now it's actually not as bad as i make it sound but it really broke my heart that i expected this shirt to make me slay but even look worse than i looked before anyway let me just show you guys what i've spoken about this is it it's not fair it's not fair that this is how my own look you know those tops they have like frills here that are really pretty and really nice no 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 can you see how the thread they all committed to that just snapped and just died there the elastic came up <laughs> this shirt was supposed to be like my instagram slay shirt but this trouser though this trouser though my sister was like why don't you pick this trouser i was like no 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 i don't want to pick this and then i picked it and now it's the best thing that i picked if you're going to buy anything from zafu make sure you buy this one it's really really nice really perfect i love the feeling i love how it looks but then when your ties rub together everybody will know so if you have joint ties i don't suggest you buy this one let's sneak up and wish her a happy birthday nope it's not gonna happen so that's the only thing i don't like about this even when i'm touching it like 
like now. Hey, Sister Agnes, come over here for a second. Okay, I'm coming. This shirt is holier than thou. I thought it was more netty and more like lacy and stuff, but it's just a bunch of holes. Literally, like this part is a bunch of holes, and it comes with an inner wear that is actually um is just weird. The inner wear is short, tight, and if you sit down and you get up, the inner wear will get up with you. It will go up and ride up to your waist. So you need to be careful with this dress. Also, you can't really wear this dress to church if you are thinking about it. Except you're the kind of person that likes to show your ties instead of pay your tights. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The dress can still be churchified, but it just it just doesn't give me that slay look that I thought it would look. On the mannequin, it looks so good. But the only thing that is good about this dress is that you can use it to hide your pregnancy if you don't want anybody to know. This is the kind of dress you can wear to your village and they will not know that you are pregnant because it already gives you fake pregnancy. You can already, you can just say, okay, you know what is the dress, is the dress. And then when you leave your village, you are safe and sound from any of your enemies that have been looking for you. But like, look at this. This is the kind of dress you wear while you are going for a wedding and you know that you are going to eat so much, your belly is going to shoot out. If you don't want to have to explain anything you wear this dress it's not bad but it's just weird the fitting is weird like so weird it's like it's like okay shirt band to hold it to your waist or under your breast if you have some but it's on my waist because as you can see one lacking in this area uh and then it's like straight and then flare I'm like, who's the chair designed for? The hand is not like box. Like, it, at least if the hand was a bit fitted like this, you understand? It will not be bad. Do you understand? But it's just fat and holy, just like the dread. But the thing about it is not that bad, but it's not good either. And this is a size small. But the size small for that red shirt was just fighting with me. Like, auntie, don't wear me, don't wear me, you are too fat. And this one's like, auntie, auntie, wear me, wear me, you are so skinny. And I'm just like, make up your mind, Zafu. What size is small, what size is large? Let me show you guys the bottom, because you might think that I'm just joking. And I'm really, I'm not. It already started riding up. See, this is where it's supposed to be. But it is already halfway here. So this is the length of the dress, said that one. Is this a midi or a maxi midi? What, like, I, I, it's, can you see the fitting is horrible? Oh, this sewing thing is just like this. It looks like when you give your tailor something, give him design and say, sew this for me. And this is what you get before the wedding. And it's not fair because the only thing that tailor will get, apart from the payment that you have promised him, is courses that you are giving him in your mind. But I ordered one more thing that did not come, which was the velvet tracksuit. But when I went back to check the email, I didn't see the velvet track suits on the list of things that I, the pictures that I sent to them. So I just thought, okay, maybe I, I left it out and you know, I, it was my fault. Until now that I'm filming this video today, God is so fantabulous. I'm filming this video today and guess what just got in my mail? The velvet track suit, you guys. So I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> velvet track suit. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the track suit that I got. Hey, this is what Swagger looks like. It has pockets and the pockets are velvet too. So it's really, really nice. Oh my God, this is amazing. Amazing, I love it. This track suit is perfect for traveling, for, you know, just walking around. For those of you that are going to class, just wear this. You don't really have to spend so much money on Adidas. Well, you can just go to Zafu and buy Adi Sad. This is it, I absolutely love it. You know how I said that that, that um, silky, wet looking trouser was my favorite? Is a lie, I changed my mind. This is my favorite. It even gives me like take a look at me looking all swaggerific yes guys thank you guys i really love this zafu thank you so much for sending me brand new clothes i'm so happy that now i have more clothes in my wardrobe and i have to throw away all those old clothes anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe comment and share loves your friends and family in the air on this world thank you guys so much i love you guys way more than you guys can imagine adios amigos kasha later peace